Hey, what's going down YouTubers? This is Jeff back at it again with another video. This video will we discuss all the parts you need to build the best $400 gaming PC. This PC will destroy any modern console and the great thing about PC gaming is that it will allow you to upgrade down the line as your budget permits. So without further delay, let's get into the parts. Part number one, the engine that will be running our build is the Intel Pentium G4560 Dual Core. This processor clocks in at 3.5 GHz and is great for any budget build enthusiast. Priced at $75, this baby packs more than enough punch for any current titles. Part number two, the glue that holds everything together, the Asus H110 M-E Micro ATX motherboard. This LGA 1151 packs a lot of punch considering the affordable price of $45. I love the fact that this motherboard has M2 support so you'll be able to add in an insanely fast SSD when your budget permits. While it lacks Crossfire, SLI, and RAID, these are often things that budget builders won't consider. Part number three. For the RAM, we went with the Corsair 8GB DDR4. 8GB is pretty much the standard for current AAA titles, so we just snagged the cheapest one we could find priced at $50. Part number four. For storage, we went with the Hitachi Ultrastar 1TB7200 hard drive. Priced at $40, this will give you more than enough storage to hold your games in media. Part number five. The GPU is a crucial component for any gaming build, so with that being said, we went with the PowerColor RX 474GB graphics card. Priced at $150, this GPU has a lot of power considering how affordable you can find these. I will link to the video with benchmarks so you can see how well this baby performs. Part number 6. The frame that holds everything together, a fractal design, 1100 Micro ATX Mini Tower Case. Priced at $33, this minimalistic small form factor case provides the perfect look for the budget conscious builder. Lastly, part number seven, the PSU we chose was the EVGA 400 watt ATX power supply. Priced at $29, this provides more than enough power considering the system will draw approximately 260 watts from the wall. While I would have much preferred a modular PSU, a pockets would have taken a beating purely for aesthetics. Something that just doesn't make sense for a budget build and a case that lacks a window. The time is now. I hope my build inspires you to jump into PC gaming. If you have any questions